All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, last week we were down in Southern Utah. While we were down there, we got a call from Matt's Off-Road Recovery, and Matt told us to come by the shop because he had a present for us. You ever been here before? Never. This is pretty cool. Look at that LS motor with all the yellow on it. <laughs> that is sick. <laughs> Miss Matt, he's at lunch. Matt's at lunch? Matt's at lunch. It's all good. Oh, there's some good ones on there. All These the good sick. ones were not me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> who are they? Dave's gonna take Colin for a ride. As long as we don't scatter it, we'll, this this will be good. So, what transmission do you have in this? Bone stock 4L80. <laughs> So this is Matt's message to you guys. It's up to you to figure out how to receive the message. <laughs> it says Peg Rose on it. Oh, what is this thing? It looks like <laughs> what they call a what? DVD. That's a DVD. <laughs> <laughs> the cassette. Huh? That's cool. Dad, you should know how to work oh, yeah. this thing. <laughs> I, I've got that down pat. Do you have anything that we can we read this with? We can decipher the message in there with it. That's, that's the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously Matt wasn't there. He had to leave to go do a podcast. But like you guys saw, his team gave us this. And I'm pretty sure the last time I watched a VCR was the Teletubbies back when I was in diapers. It's a lot harder than you would think to find something that would play one of these ancient things. We called Grandma. We called the church. We called the... 2D eyes, we called, who else? The library. The neighbor. The library, <laughs> the neighbors, and we couldn't find anything. So luckily Caleb went over to the high school and found a VCR player that's gonna play this thing. I didn't just waltz into the high school and steal a VCR. I got permission, <laughs> I swear. We're surprised they let you in, because didn't they tell you to never come back? Well, they did, but... That was like five years ago that I was in high school, so I think everybody over there forgot I was a hooligan. Matt didn't tell us what's on this thing, and we have no idea what to expect. We're just hoping that it isn't Matt and Hefe's New Year's Eve dance-off. Brothers, welcome to the off-road game. Jump on in, I got more to tell you. I brought you here to give you your official invite to the off-road game 2024. This year's games is going to be more awesome, bigger, and better than ever thanks to you and your participation. Now, I'm going to need you to bring your favorite off-road rig and a lot of guts because we're going to be teaming you up with another YouTuber that does not do off-roading. So you and your team are coming out to Sand Hollow and you are going to be spotting your teammate up the same course that we did the record games on last year, which is Double Triple Sammy. It's a rated eight trail and it is not for the faint of heart. So there's gonna be four checkpoints along the trail where you and your teammate will be participating in some sort of a challenge of speed, skill, knowledge, and agility. Don't worry, you don't need to bring anything. It will be provided for you. And your job is to have fun and entertain the crowd. We're gonna have probably 10,000 people there this year. We can't wait to see you, your off-road rig, and your new teammate in March. Teammates will be disclosed at a later date in the future, and I will not accept any sort of bribery to get you with a special team. That's pretty freaking sweet. We are pumped. The only problem that we have now is we don't know whose Jeep we're gonna take. We've got my Jeep, Alex's Jeep, Dad's Jeep, Brady's aircraft, and I guess we have Brady's other Jeep that ain't finished, and it ain't gonna be finished, so comment right now whose Jeep you want us to bring to the off-road games. Speaking of Matt's off-road, we finally figured out what we're gonna do with the mini truck.
We picked this puppy up about three weeks ago. We traded the guy a couple of steering boxes and some other parts that we had, but we haven't known what we were going to do with it until now. Yesterday, we were on the phone with Matt, throwing around some ideas, and he thought it would be a good idea if we turn this puppy into a wrecker. On Matt's channel, he's turning his samurai into the world's smallest off-road wrecker, so we're going to turn this thing into the world's largest mini wrecker. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the idea behind this truck is to be big enough to tow one of our Jeeps out of the trail because they normally break. And two, it needs to be small enough and nimble enough to get anywhere that our Jeeps can get. We do have a plan for the parts that we're going to use on this build. We want to use Super Duty axles front and rear, probably full hydro steering on the front. We're going to build a wrecker boom that's going to be able to lift a Jeep, so we've got to build a custom frame. We're planning on running 43-inch sticky tires on it, just like our Jeeps. So to turn those huge tires, we've got to have something that has some onion in it. And we want to run an LS motor, but I don't know if we're going to be able to fit it. So to figure out if that is going to work, we've got to strip this thing down so we can take some measurements and see if it will all fit. night we got this thing pretty much tore apart the whole front end is tore out of it the whole rear ends tore out of it the interior is pretty much stripped completely out and we rolled around these tires last night to see if we could figure out exactly how we were going to get this thing to look and now for some reason we can't get this door to shut so now we got to figure out how the chinese made these things but pretty much the whole frame on this thing is like less than eighth inch thick it's like super 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 tiny so we're not going to be able to really weld any tough brackets to it probably not going to be able to mount the motor to it but we also don't want to have to rip this whole frame off because the body of the truck is like merged in with the frame they call it a unibody but we're not used to working with unibody anything this is the size tire we're planning on running it's a 43 it's actually brady's spare we're trying to see how we can get it to fit here we we need to cut at least this much we've been thinking about cutting under the headlight we don't really know exactly how it's gonna go but if it's here we got to raise the ride height up a little bit to have up travel it's gonna be quite the job trying to fit these under this thing we also ripped the whole front bumper off of this thing because we're gonna make one that's sick and it's gonna be made out of tube but the problem that we're having is where on earth we're gonna put the motor from the back of this firewall right here to the back of this is about 16 inches and that is not enough room for a motor. And if you look in here, we have no room to like cut the floor so that the motor can sit in here past the firewall because the pedals are right there. So we're pretty much left with putting the motor right here as high as we can get it underneath the seats and as far forward as we can get it. But the problem with that is that now we have a transmission and a transfer case to fit back here which is pushing our rear end clear back out here so we have a long enough drive line for our, the travel that we're trying to get. So we've been racking our brains, doing a bunch of research, trying to figure out the best motor transmission and transfer case to fit in the truck and also have a long enough drive line. And also, we have to do it on basically no money. Ha! <laughs> the other That's hard the part. other problem. <laughs> if, we had, if we had the money to build this thing like perfectly, there would be, it would be a no brainer exactly how we would build it. But we're gonna probably be pulling some transfer case out of a Suburban and trying to get it to work with the electric actuated four wheel drive. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna that's definitely be tough, yeah. And for everybody that's blowing up the comments, why we're not working on Brady's Jeep, trust me, we gotta figure it out. Me and Caleb are gonna tackle this thing, just us. We're telling Brady, don't even touch this truck. Work on your Jeep, get it done. And it kind of turned into a competition that me and Caleb are going to get this done faster than he's going to finish his Jeep. 
12 seconds later. All right, here's the deal. We just found a bunch of the parts that we need to build this truck. Our buddy Hunter Goodrich called us up and says he has exactly what we're looking for. So he has a donor truck that has the axles and maybe even the motor training transfer case we need for this truck. He said bring a big trailer that drives about two and a half hours away and we're gonna take you guys with us. We just pulled up. Thank heavens there's enough sunlight, so we're gonna be able to at least get to it before it's dark. Are those bulls gonna like kill us? So they might. <laughs> and so, those are uh, some Tibetan yaks that my wife talked me into buying a few years ago. They're yaks. They're yaks from oh Tibet. We've got uh, two cows, two calves, and a bull. The bull that's got the wide horns. He's uh, he's pretty aggressive. He's put All me right. he's put me on my back twice. Well, oh my you know gosh! Yeah, got to, you're good to walk past and just keep your head on a swivel. So this is Jim. He's got his YouTube channel, Jackknife Motors. How you doing? And uh, this is the property that Hunter's truck's on. So he's gonna help us. I don't think the Jeep's gonna be able to get it. We're just not that heavy. So he gets, he's got a tractor we might need. We'll get this thing loaded up before dark. He's pretty optimistic. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have the rear end broke, the transfer case out, and Alex's Jeep before dark. That's usually how it goes. So a little bit of context. We brought Alex's Jeep down to try and get the truck out because knowing Hunter, he said that we might be able to get it to run, but we're not as clever as Hunter. So I don't think we're gonna actually be able to get it to run. And then I brought the gooseneck down to put the truck on. <laughs> I don't really want to get out and walk with those huge things outside. Those are huge. Dude, I'm that one of those would kill me no problem. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come on. You gotta keep your head on a swivel. <laughs> Man, those things are huge. This thing is a freaking dean. She's a 2005 Power Stroke F two or 350 one of them it don't matter because it's got the front axle and the rear axle that we have to have and possibly the motor maybe hopefully hopefully 6.0 is good to go is that dude, what they say how, <laughs> that's what they say how cool would a 6.0 be in that mini truck dude you get a 6.0 built right they are cherry they're oh, sweet if they're not built right they are hairy that's, <laughs> that's a good way to put a it t-shirt to say that on yeah it. But you should see how much room we have to work with in this thing. It's like, pretty tight, right? We barely might not be able to fit an LS in it. Really? Yeah, it's tiny. Problem is it doesn't have any seats. So Dang, she's a lariat too. Is it? Look at the dash. Oh, heck yeah, it is. Wow. Wood, wood grain. No key. That might make no key. it out of here be a little tricky. Oh. Yeah. That's well, not good. Flip, we were going to see if it ran. That's not good. Oh, that just turned this into a whole ordeal. The steering might be locked. Yeah. Looks like this thing's coming with it because it's welded right there. Ooh. So this is a twofer. Hey, it's not welded, it's a spoiler. Oh my gosh. Dude. I don't make it fast. Dude. <laughs> it's going on the That's sick. So we get two trucks in one. That's pretty sweet. This truck says Hunter Goodrich all over it. This looks like it was going to be stub number two. It it does. You think? Good news. Steering wheel's open. Is it? Oh, yeah, good. Like, heck yeah. She'll roll out of here. Do you, do you think he just didn't have any straps with him when he picked this thing up, so he just welded it to this? Chances are he had a welder more than he had straps. <laughs> <laughs> all jokes aside though we freaking love hunter goodrich if you haven't seen the video that we made with him it is one of our favorite videos of all time i'm gonna plug it at the end of this video so you can go watch it oh no way the keys i don't know if that's the key that doesn't want to get stuck it's a uh, ford it's a ford key but uh that looks pretty ancient to me jim might have found the way out oh, there we go try it here's a, try your key get a shot Come on, Hunter. Come on, Hunter. Oh, come on, guy. We are going to be the luckiest guys if. Oh. <laughs> that's going to be that's a not, problem. That's not good. All right, we're going to see if this thing will roll out of here. We can't get it into, into uh, drive or neutral to roll. So we're uh, just going to see if it'll pull. Hunter's got the, the wheels chalked, which means it might 
already be disconnected underneath. Oh, hey! We're in business! Working like a dean. I cannot believe how good this is working. So we gotta figure out how to get that truck up onto the trailer. And Jim's got a big old tractor. He's gonna help us out and push it the rest of the way on the trailer. This right here is living. I wasn't expecting the tractor that big. No, that thing's Gucci, dude. Push this right on. All right, you drive, I'll push. Okay, it gets crazy, just honk the horn, right? <laughs> <laughs> thing don't fall off the the upper truck yeah it's kind of sketchy we gotta strap that thing down good jim you're the man hey couldn't have done it without you good to meet you guys <laughs> yeah good to meet you too oh, bring it in if you haven't seen the video that we made with him sand dunes video yeah the no, sand dunes no, video talking to me no no i'm talking yeah okay yeah, the sand dunes video. Cut. <laughs>